this video looks at some essential examples involving circles and semicircles. The first one looks at the two basic formulae required. Now suppose you're given a circle and you're asked to find the area. Now we're given here the radius, which is the distance from the centre to the outside of the circle. Now to find the area given the radius, we do a calculation. And this is given by pi times by the radius squared. Now in this case, the radius is 6. So we've got to work out what 6 squared is, or 6 times 6, and multiply this result by pi. Now, if you've not got a calculator, we do 6 times 6, which is 36, and then we then times by pi. And I can write down 36 pi to denote this. However, if we do have a calculator, then we can do 6 squared, or 6 times by 6, and then times this by pi, so times by shift, the pi appears, pressing answer, the SD button, we get 113.1 to one decimal place. Now don't forget the units, this will be an area, so it's centimetres squared. So this circle has an area of 113.1 centimetres squared, or 36 pi, and that's called in terms of pi. Now the area is basically how much we'd need to cover the entire circle. However, sometimes you're also asked for the circumference, which is the distance around the outside of the circle. Now, if we're told the radius, which in this case is 4, then to work out the circumference we do twice the radius and then times by pi. Sometimes you're told the entire diameter, which in this case would be 8, so you might also meet pi times by the diameter. Again, if the radius is 4, then 8 is the entire diameter across the circle. So, 2 times the radius, 2 times 4 is 8. And if I've not got a calculator, it'll be 8 times by pi, and that's in terms of pi. However, we can work this out. So, 8 times by pi equals, there we are, 8 pi in terms of pi. I can convert that to a decimal, and that's 25.1 to one decimal place. Now, the circumference is a distance around the circle, so therefore the units would just be centimetres. So these are the two essential formulae to know for the area and circumference of a circle. But sometimes you're asked for a more complicated example or question involving semicircles, often inside a rectangle. Now then, we're going to find out what this shaded region here is, enclosed by the rectangle and the semicircle. Now we're only told this measurement here. And step one is to understand that this rectangle here, because it encloses a semicircle, has got some quite fixed dimensions. Now if this is five, imagine this here being the centre of a much larger circle. So the distance from the centre to the outside has got to be 5. So therefore this length here must be 5, from here to the centre, and therefore this length here must also be 5. So this entire width of the rectangle has got to be 10. And that is quite an important dimension for the calculation as we're going to find out. 
Now then, to find out the shaded area, I want to first of all find the area of this entire rectangle. Now for the rectangle, that is quite simply 5 multiplied by 10, which is 50 centimetres squared. Because we understand that because that is 5, the entire width across the entire circle must therefore be 10 centimetres. So this rectangle here has got an area of 50. Now I'm going to find out what the area of the semicircle is and then subtract that from the rectangle to get the leftover shaded area. Now then, what I'll do is I'm going to find the entire circle first of all. So the entire circle we know is pi times radius squared. However, we know that 5, the distance from the centre to the outside, is this circle's radius. We know that this distance here has got to be 5. So I do the radius squared times by pi to get the entire circle. So 5 squared times by pi equals 25 pi or 78.5 centimetres squared. Now this is the entire circle, so the semicircle must just be half of this. So if I divide my area by 2, then I get 39.27 or 39.3 centimetres squared to one decimal place. So if I want to find the shaded area, I do the rectangle, take away the semicircle, so therefore 50, take away 39.3 equals, so I'll do 50, take away, I'll put ants in, that will use the most accurate decimal from before, and that gives me 10.73 centimetres squared. 2dp. And that is the area of the shaded region. And that is the answer to this particular question. Now as an aside they sometimes ask what percentage of a shape is shaded. Now to do this is quite a simple calculation. We do the shaded area as asked in the question, divided by the total area of the rectangle and we times by 100. So I would do the shaded area divided by the total rectangle times by 100. So on here I've got the 10.73, I'll divide by 50 times by 100 and we get 21.5%. So the shaded percentage is 21.5%. Please do share this video if you enjoyed it or subscribe to the channel and I'll be releasing more essential videos over the coming months.